It's quiz day. Oh, we made it to the other side. Yes, it's, it is. It is uh, time for quizzes. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, sayings and proverbs quizzes. Yes. How about oh, that? Yes. And uh, who are you, by the way? Hey, I'm Ida Blevins, and you know when asked, I always say I'm fine as frogs hair. Oh I'm, well, I'm uh, Calvin Clark, and I'm happy as a lark. There you go. <laughs> Come on up. Does it get any better than that? This is Sayla. Come on. Come <laughs> and Sayla, oh, I don't know what Sayla is. Come on. We have Come to on. have a saying for her. Say hello. <laughs> Say, Selah, you know, is named after, um, there's a, uh, there's a word in the Psalms that nobody knows what it means. And some people call it Selah, other people call it Selah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's what she's named after, so. Because uh, it mean, we think it means pause, right? It means to pause, yeah, maybe, maybe to pause. And, that's and a so play we think like, pause, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> here you go. So, so Selah gets a reward for coming and saying, hold on, here you go. Have, have that, yeah. All right. So let's get to the quiz, shall okay, we? Okay, let's do. Uh, I'm do excited I have the, about this one. Do I have the quiz up? I don't know. So our quiz is called Say What? <laughs> say what? <laughs> I don't know. Say what? Say what? Okay. Fine as frog's hair. Yeah. Doesn't get any finer than that. Do frogs have hair or do you know? I don't think so. <laughs> so so uh, I, I won't comment on it. Okay, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have this whole... Listen, my maiden name was Wilder. Yeah. So my family has encouraged me to write a book of wilder isms because my dad used to have all these sayings yeah and some of them i can say in public and some of them maybe not so much mm -hmm. <laughs> but they just come to my head and they just pop out there aren't any she can say in public <laughs> 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 mm. or should say in public <laughs> maybe you think you could say them uh, but we true. have some sayings that you can say in public but they're from all around the world see see uh well we've we've been on a really weird bend here we had uh Two weeks ago, we had Rob on, and we were doing hunting, yes. and it was primarily Pennsylvania-based, so there were people all around the world like saying, I don't need to know about Pennsylvania hunting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so as a response to that, here we are. We're going to do world we're sayings. Broaden our horizons. You couldn't be broader than no, the sayings I'm we're going to say, you. except for we're not going to say any. I don't think we're going to say I any that, seen are, them yet, though. that okay. are from the U.S. There's none from the U.S.? I don't think so. Oh, okay. And Because uh, we all, the, the people in the U.S., they, we know lots of sayings. And we've got lots of sayings. We could do just a whole show on that. But these yes. are sayings from all around the world. So we're going to do those. And um, and then last week, we didn't even have a show. And yeah. then we did. And then all of a sudden we did. We came on with Caleb. Yeah. Well, we and didn't so, have one on Wednesday. But we popped in on Thursday night because Caleb was here. Yeah, so we want to do that more. Yeah. When people are in town, we're just going to come on. We don't care what day it is. We're going to just come on. That's right. And uh, we sort of canceled the show last week because my foot hurt. Oh, oh I know. A hurty foot. <laughs> it didn't just hurt. It, it but hurt it's doing enough a lot to better. get you to go to the doctor, which is that's hurting. Yeah. Right before the show, <laughs> uh, I forgot my glasses. And we had, how long did we have? A minute and five seconds or something like that? Yes. And I ran upstairs, got my glasses, came down. And I was thinking, you know, I couldn't have done that a week ago. No, you could That's true. That's so true. So I must be doing better. So let's get to the quiz. Though. Okay, <laughs> I keep I keep it. promising we're going to get to it. So here we go. So we're going to we've got uh, I don't know. I think we have six questions. All right. Okay. So it's just it's our classic quiz, our classic approach. Right. Uh, and here's the saying. The saying is, "There is no cow on the ice." No it's a Swedish saying. The okay. There's no cow on the ice. So what does or it mean? Or do you mean? say there's no cow on the ice, or there's no cow on the ice, or there's no cow on the ice? You say tomato, I say tomato. You wouldn't say any of those things because okay, no. it's supposed to be in Swedish. You'd <laughs> okay. say it in Swedish. Uh, All right. So what does that mean, Aya? What do you think? What What do you folks watching think? Do you think one a it's the milk is warm? There's no cow mm -hmm. on the ice. I get it. Right? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. that's not uh, it. One b. There's no need to panic because. There's no cow on the ice? Yeah. I don't know exactly what that Okay. <laughs> and one C, the meat is not frozen. It's fresh meat, apparently. <laughs> There's no cow There's on no the cow ice. There's no cow on the ice. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, one D, go where a reward is possible. There's no cow on the ice. Yeah, okay. There's no cow well, on I ice. know. I have a strong feeling about which one is right. Okay. Because I'm I'm uh, extrapolating this to you're Swedish. I might be a little Swedish, but you're I sweet. you know it's like you're you sweet, know, Ida. Thank you. You're Swedish. <laughs> oh my! Um, <laughs> I think it is emphasis on the ish. <laughs> you're sweet ish. <laughs> oh, we've worked together way too long. Okay, so I'm going to say it's B. There's no need to panic because I'm relating it back to don't have a cow, man. Oh, that's is is Bart Simpson uh, Swedish? 
He's not, but he's from Springfield. <laughs> oh, so that's you. And so am I. <laughs> so you're in that. There, so I see B, C down here. Bunch of C's. The meat is not frozen. Of course, that makes sense to me. The cow's not in the ice. I, why would you talk about non-frozen meat? <laughs> well, we do have people saying Well, what do you mean? It. Some meat is frozen. It's, it's much better meat if it's not frozen. The Swedish, they, they're... they They like fresh meat. Yeah, they do. If you're going to If you're going to grill, you, you don't want frozen meat. It's it's not C. It's B. There's no need to panic. <laughs> All right. The answer <laughs> is the answer is B. There's no need to panic. Oh my! Well, C. Because if there was a cow on the ice, oh boy, that would be a need to panic. Yeah, because the ice is gonna break. And then what would we do? Yeah, you'd lose it. your cow. All right. So uh, so now you know. Now you can go to Sweden. Because I, <laughs> you know everything right. about Swedish culture. I know all about the cow on the ice. All right, question number two. This is a Serbian question. Oh no! All it's right, getting harder. Serbian question. I don't know. And the, and basically the saying is, well, these aren't really questions. These are sayings. I don't yeah. know why they're called questions, but pretend to be an Englishman. Pretend to be an Englishman, or pretend to be an Englishman, or pretend to be an Englishman. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to mess it up. Okay. I want to say it the right way. All right. Now, does that mean have good manners? Or does mm -hmm. that mean act innocent? And if you have no idea what's going on, act innocent and as, as if you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> or does it mean please dress well for this event? I don't think that's a Serbian accent. But... <laughs> oh, that's right. I said the English accent. I don't know a Serbian accent. Okay. Or does it mean... Choose your words carefully. Hmm. I think, well... Which of those? Have good manners, act innocent, oh, and as if... That's a long one. It is could a be long one. And it's B. <laughs> Alice saying C, dress well for the event. Yeah, pretend to be an Englishman. I think it's going to be A, have that, good manners. That would be manners. sort of a... That would be sort of not... You know, and if it means good manners, it's not being very nice. I, I agree. Because, you like, pretend... <laughs> To be an Englishman. <laughs> like, you don't dress well, so just pre for just tonight, pretend like... that you could. <laughs> I think it's... Wow. Uh, I When I think Englishman, I think good manners. So that's Good manners, I, yeah. yeah. It turns out the Serbians don't. The Serbians okay. don't have respect for the English. Uh-oh. What, what is they it? mean it is, is B. act innocent and as if you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's what they think of the, the Serbians. Englishman. Don't think much of the I see. Englishman. We apologize to the Pretend English. Pretend to be an Englishman. So it's actually a compliment, but it's not nice to the English. I see. All right, here we go. Number three, saying number three. Okay. Feeding the donkey sponge cake. Where do you find these things? <laughs> Seriously. This is a Portuguese Fe saying. If you were Portuguese, you would. Oh, you. Oh, I oh, know yeah. exactly what that means. I, I'm everybody feeding knows the donkey what that means. sponge cake. Yeah. I was feeding the donkey sponge cake yesterday. <laughs> Okay, does that mean you're wasting something because you're feeding the donkey sponge cake? Or does that mean giving special treatment to someone who doesn't need it? Feeding the donkey sponge cake? <laughs> or, or are you forcing someone to do something good? Feeding the donkey <laughs> sponge cake. Shoving that sponge cake <laughs> down the donkey's throat. I or think... take a long time to do something. Oh, my. Feeding the donkey sponge cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yes, yeah. That was his best Eeyore. <laughs> That's how you've been today. Uh, I had a bad day. It, I lost my day. But every day is bad. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Some days are worse than others. <laughs> uh, Alan's saying A, three A. Wasting something, huh? I think it's three B. These are hard, aren't they? It, they are. What do you think it is? I think it's B. Giving, giving special, special treatment, treatment to yeah. someone who doesn't need it. Oh. Well, you just stop it. You're just feeding the donkey sponge cake, so stop it. Oh, that's people don't respect donkeys in Portugal. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Apparently not. I that a donkey not. doesn't deserve a sponge cake? How rude. I don't know. Well, Rob's with me. Okay. How rude. Well, let's see. Yes, the answer it, is B. Look at that. All knows. these Bs. A lot of them have been B. So, <laughs> I, so. That's also <laughs> my go-to when I don't know, is I always say B. Feeding the donkey sponge cake. If you said B, you were right. All right, here <laughs> okay, we go. Okay, go to the next one. Question number four. Okay. Okay, this is a Russian question, if you're, if you're from Russia. Oh, my. Okay. Going where the czar goes on foot. Good. Going where the czar goes on foot. Okay, but you have to go. It would be like, okay, 
Now you're going where the czar goes on foot. Yeah, exactly. Does okay. that mean you're going to bed? <laughs> are you going to the goes on foot? <laughs> or are you spending time with poor people? Oh, going where the czar goes on foot. Oh, I see. How kind. Oh, or is it going to the bathroom? Hey, man, I got to go where the czar goes on <laughs> Because I'm funny. <laughs> oh. Or does it mean going to do laundry? I'm going where the czar goes on foot. Hmm. Well, Kathy says 4B. It hasn't come up yet, but I think it is. 4B. Yeah, she's saying spending time with spending poor time people. With yeah, poor of course, people. that's where the, the czar. If he's gonna, if he's gonna spend time with poor people, he's not gonna go. He's not gonna get carried around. He's not gonna go in his limo. <laughs> What do you call those things they carry around on their shoulders? I don't know. Well, that's what I picture the czar going around on. Oh, on like foot. the... like Getting carried around. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if Rob says B, but I think it's C, going to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> you would. I do. You know, he has to go by foot to the bathroom. That's exactly what it means. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? It turns out that's the uh -huh. one place they didn't carry the czar. <laughs> <laughs> he had to go there on he foot. He had to go I there see. on foot. Joel got it right, too. Joel so he, too. There you yeah, go. You guys must be Russian. I'll tell you, if he was going on foot, he was Russian. <laughs> he was Russian to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> go to the next one. There's an even better joke. Just about, you're going to come in just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is uh, question number five, also Russian. Let's okay, stick with our Russian thing. Russia, okay. Hey, listen, I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. Or, I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. <laughs> okay? Does that mean don't laugh, this is serious? Hey, I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. <laughs> just, I'm sorry, I just had this wilderism thing cross my mind and I have to yeah, stop. Yeah, don't my... say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or is it, I'm telling the truth, I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. Or is it, you can't get me to do something so silly? No. I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. But or is it, this food tastes good? Mm. Uh, I'm not hanging noodles, noodles on, on your, your ears. ears. I'm telling you what it is. Um, <clears throat> just because noodles, I'm not hanging noodles on your ear. It's the first one you said. <laughs> Why would you hang noodles on your ear? I think it's... Seems like they should go in your mouth. I'm telling the truth. So I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. No, I'm doing the right thing. Tell them the truth. Is that what you're saying? I think it's not. Okay, I'm telling the yeah. truth. Or wait Well, a it could be. Don't it's, laugh. This is serious. It's either A or B. I, the, I think it's... Or you can't get me to do something silly. Yeah. I'm not hanging well, noodles kinda, on your ears. I see. Um, I'm going to say B. I'm and these, going with And these B. noodles, I mean, I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. This, this is good <laughs> food. <laughs> I think you could justify any of them. Okay, Kathy says A. I say B. We got that, those, those are, and let's see. Rob okay. says D. Let's see. Oh, it's a B it's roll. B. We're on a roll of Bs. We I'm are. telling the truth. I'm not hanging noodles on your ears. Yeah. That's a weird saying. I got that one. <laughs> it a is a one. weird saying. I don't know where you find these You wonder things. where it comes from. It, it comes from Russia. Because apparently when you... you <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> oh my! Here's my favorite. Here's my favorite and the last one of the bunch. Okay. All okay. Right? This is a Cheyenne Nation. Oh my question. word! Okay. I'm my tapeworm looking. can almost talk by itself. <laughs> I don't even know. Come on! This is these. the best saying ever, <laughs> anywhere in any. In any place. Well, my okay. tapeworm can almost oh, talk by almost. itself. Does that mean, man? I'm really hungry. My tapeworm can. It's almost shouting. I'm, yeah. Right. Um, or does it mean I'm really sick? Ooh, my tapeworm can almost talk by itself. It's it's becoming like a person in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I've just had a vision and it's gross. Or my okay. my tapeworm can almost talk by itself. My stomach is growling. I think. Oh, it's hmm. talking. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. I guess tapeworms growl. If they were <laughs> they talking, make your stomach growl. Why well, did I say my tapeworm can speak for itself? Anyway, <laughs> or you this has been me. going on an awful long time. I mean, my tapeworm can almost talk for himself. <laughs> oh, Kathy's saying D. D. Rob is saying B. These are hard. 
This is it, though. This is the last of the questions. Yeah. This is the big I, one. I, I'm going with C. Let's see what it is. C is my guess. That's it. My stomach, my stomach growling. is growling. I'm kind of good at this. You know, my dad might have prepared me with his wild <laughs> yeah, for some of these lot, things. Yes, I have. Over well, thanks for playing the game. If you yeah. uh, stay with us on the after show uh, on Facebook, we don't do that on, on YouTube, but on the after show, we're going to do three more questions. So we'll throw, oh, we're gonna throw in some more. bonus questions after the, we're uh, on a roll. after the break. Yeah. But for, but for the important stuff, we want to get to the saying of the week. Oh. You did pretty well. Did you get them all right? No, you must have missed one. I'm, I'm sure I missed one. You you never keep track. I come to, <laughs> but every, <laughs> but everyone always me. says that. I she's really good at this. I am pretty good at it. All right, let's go to the saying of the day. It has to do with humility. <laughs> <laughs> I Actually, am pretty good at it. Doesn't. <laughs> All right, here we go. Saying of the day, Miss Ida. Okay. I, Help us out here. All right. In all seriousness, this is. Uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. So I came across this saying because uh, so many people we know have invisible disabilities related to mental illness and uh, a lot of it is depression. And so I just, I saw this and I, I just feel like it was important. So it's maybe I can't stop the downpour, but I'll always join you for a walk in the rain. And I think it's a, the reason to me that that's important is you don't need to fix anything. You can't fix anything, but you can be there for people. You can be present. And I think that's really important to be present for one another. So that's my saying of the week. Cool. Thanks for that one, Ida. That's a good one. You're welcome. Yeah, there, there is something about, um, you know, when you're in rough times, mm -hmm. even people who are in rough times don't really expect to get the answer necessarily for it to be over. You know, they want right. the way we talk Oops. exposes the way we think. Sorry about that. And it works. It's okay. There we go. I clicked the wrong button and started the video again. Hmm. But what you know, when but people aren't expecting to get over things so much as they really just want companionship. They want right. that holistic love and healing. I mean, of course, you want to get over it. Everybody right. wants to fix right. things, it's, but. It's you want to see the other side of that rainbow, but it doesn't always come as fast as we'd like yes. it to. Sometimes you, that's not the main thing you're expecting or hoping right. for. You're really looking for somebody to come walk alongside you, which mm -hmm. is sort of a cool cool thing. Let me close down these windows so I don't open those again. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going here. Okay. Let's do. Um, after the saying of the week, we have the joke of the week. Oh, and it's Mary Lou Zoko. She's she she gave an amazing she, joke the so last time around. It was so good the first yeah, time. We, we need to have her back. And to bring her back, and we got yeah. even we got pictures with her, even like her hair bigger and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so Mary Lou doesn't seem to be on tonight. Is she on? I didn't see Mary Lou so, tonight. So uh, so Mary Mary Lou uh, says uh, talks about strong women. So here's her joke: Strong women should never date an apostrophe. See, this is a language show. <laughs> <laughs> oh no strong women should never date an apostrophe why should they never date an apostrophe because most of them are just possessive oh my word mary lou good joke way to go mary lou <laughs> she topped the last one i you think know, <laughs> the last time we had pictures of mary lou that weren't so flattering that we found on on facebook and so this time i thought i'm going to make it up to her i'm going to find some, some really pictures, nice pictures yeah. and then you give her that joke <laughs> well, nobody, it's good advice okay, nobody wants a possessive guy that's true <laughs> particularly a strong woman like mary lou we don't want to date apostrophes you're right <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh the show is going to come to an end now on youtube and but there's uh more over on facebook you can uh if you are on uh youtube you can look below and over on that little box over there and we'll recommend some other videos to you mm -hmm. but uh, we'll see you next time uh on the live show on wednesday night or if you want to watch the recording of it we do these kinds of quizzes and lots of fun things yes, we do. so uh anyway i'm uniquely the same you're uniquely the same together we can change the world thank you so much for stopping by see you next time <laughs>